is Town Council, December the 18th, 2017 at 9 a.m. in Council Chambers. Um, is there, are there any late items to be added? No? Then could we have the minutes of the Committee of the Whole? Thank you. Adopted. Um, and that would be Councillor Rhodes and Youngberg. All in favor? Thank you. No delegations. So we just have one item today, and that would be business bridge jumping. And Mr. Davis is going to talk about that. Thank you, Madam Mayor. Staff was directed to bring information to the Committee of the Whole meeting regarding the laws and legal ramifications of people jumping off the bridge. Staff received prior information from 2009 indicating correspondence from the town to the Minister of Transportation and also to the area manager of bridges. <laughs> At that time, there was a concern in relation to people jumping off the bridge and the local RCMP wanted to make sure what legal enforcement was present to deal with this unique policing issue. It was determined that signage was to be placed so it would be difficult to remove and also be treated with anti-graffiti. The ministry was not automatically liable for any, any injury, but they must exercise reasonable care to avoid risk of harm. It was also noted that the town could increase a bylaw which fines to prevent this activity. Staff also received input from the Community Services Advisory Committee stating, a resolution that was passed that the committee supports and encourages the town to send a letter to a provincial agency that would be able to provide more information and inform the town of legal issues that may be present. We should also consider replacing this activity with another safer activity. In 2013, the operations manager with the Ministry of Transportation relayed information to the RCMP that the no jumping regulation is the responsibility of the RCMP local enforcement. Administration received further correspondence last week from the area manager of Bridges indicating that there were no changes in the legalities of this issue. The short version states that uh, Section 41C of the Trespass Act may be of assistance. In essence, that section states that a person commits an offense if the person engages in an activity or in premises after the person has had notice from an occupier of the premises or an authorized person that the activity is prohibited. Section 4, state 3 states that a person having been notified to refrain from the activity commits an offense if he or she resumes the activity. And Section 5.1c clarifies that by not notice may be given by means of a sign which conforms to the requirements of Section 5.1a as an offense a police officer would be entitled under the Offense Act to issue a violation ticket. Warning signs should be posted that are clear and intelligible by way of example. Such signs should clearly prohibit diving, clearly warn that the waters may hold unknown hazards, and clearly warn of the dangers posed by the passing of lake traffic. The Ministry should ensure that reasonable steps are taken to secure the signs so as to resist removal and should consider consider implementing some sort of monitoring program whereby the signs are checked periodically to ensure that they have not been removed or vandalized. It was also mentioned that signage was endorsed and installed and that a concept was developed for a pedestrian barrier to eliminate jumping, but it was not endorsed by council. Immediately following that decision, the direction was on the trestle sidewalk, which was completed in 2014. Administration informed the manager that new signage is required. In terms of options, number one, for Council to contact the Ministry of Transportation to open up discussion on developing a barrier to prevent people from jumping off the bridge, also to make sure that transportation develops a program to regularly check the signs for vandalism and replace when necessary. Option two, for Council to ensure the new signage is erected and the wording clearly states that jumping is prohibited. Option three, retain the status quo whereby the that Modi has the responsibility to action the RCMP to issue a violation ticket under the Offense Act. Option four, for council to identify or consider another activity that would be safer so people would not feel they have lost something. Option five, for council to bring more awareness to this unsafe activity by bringing attention to the dangers associated with this by including information or advertising in local media and or the town's leisure guide and staff is bringing this forward, but direction requested, but recommending option number three. Thank you very much. Council, anybody have anything to say about this? Sure. 
<clears throat> Go ahead, Councillor Campbell, you first. Um, I guess my, my only concern <clears throat> with the issue itself is, to me, it seems like a bit of a numbers game. Um, I get that it's, it's a rite of passage, and um, it's been going on for a long, long time. But when I hear about the incident of the boat coming under the bridge, I think that's where it seems to me that it's a numbers game where at some point a boat's going to come under that bridge again. Um, I, it, you know, I read a report like this and it, it sounds like from a ministry's perspective nobody wants to really take responsibility should anything happen. But I don't see the harm in, in having a, a sign erected, um, at least as a deterrent to, to jumping in. Realistically, we're not going to have an RC, especially, you know, with our policing situations in the summer, that we're not going to have an RCMP officer stationed at the bridge stopping people from jumping. Jumping isn't realistic. Um, but I, I, I do think erecting a sign isn't a, isn't a bad idea, and, and it brings awareness to the fact that it, it is a dangerous activity and that um, we don't welcome it. There are signs on the bridge. There always has been mm -hmm. for as long as I can remember that uh, say no jumping. So my assumption is, Mr. Davis, that that <coughs> is what those signs that are there now, and they and I see. <coughs> is this your recent suggestion that new signs be erected? Okay, I wasn't sure whether that was in uh, in 2014 or that was your suggestion for right now. The signs that are there are actually vandalized, yeah. and they need to be replaced. Yeah. Um, but I I do believe that if different signage was there stating some of these other items rather than just say no bridge jumping that's right that, and that's exactly what yeah the thing is that i'm not sure that people are going to pay attention to the signs however we're doing our due diligence by making sure that we have addressed the issue and that um that the police understand that because it's highways that it's if they so choose and see somebody jumping off the bridge it's up to them to Provide, uh, to find them if they wish, right? Yep. Councillor Rhodes. Mm. Uh, thank you, Member Cordoff. Uh, the incident where uh, one of our uh, youth uh, jumped off that bridge and landed in that boat was um, quite a few years ago. Was it? About 20. <coughs> Since that time, we've, uh, we've had a, a traffic uh, death in a crosswalk uh, in front of the subway store. Uh, we've had uh, two youths that I know have been uh, struck by vehicles in front of the home hardware crossing and that kind of thing. Um, so why am I bringing up that? Well, it's the same highway, the same rules and regulations that are set down by the same group of people right now. And uh, I'm not looking over your way because I'm being argumentative. I'm trying to explain <laughs> that, you know, uh, I totally agree with the signage. I think the signs would be more effective if they were maybe at each end, you know, so that when people are walking there, uh, because by the time they get to where the signs are located right now, they've already made up their mind that they're going to, you know, jump over the edge. They stand on the signs to actually do yeah, the yeah. diving, yeah. So <laughs> maybe something that was, um, you know, a little bit more, more recognizable at each end of the walkways at the east and west <coughs> end of the bridge. and. One of the other difficulties that I always have that I brought up last time when we were talking about this is the impossibility of enforcement with these kind of things. It's such a challenge, um, you know, because the RCMP prioritize things that they do in our community, and, and uh, I don't know where this is on their pri priority list. It's a very seasonal <coughs> thing, and I've never heard of anybody or anybody ever receiving any kind of a fine or an infraction or a warning or, or that kind of thing. It's a dangerous activity, uh, but boy, I don't know how you would ever enforce it. If we were going to put time and energy into enforcement, uh, we'd be better off uh, uh, looking at crosswalks in our, in our community and yeah. try to minimize impact with uh, pedestrians. I agree. I just wondered if... Go ahead. Go ahead. Thank you. Glad you're okay over there because I thought it was my turn to <laughs> <laughs> to reciprocate. <Yeah. laughs> um, the Heimlich. Uh, I, I don't disagree with anything Councillor Rhodes said. Um, in fact, I'd like to make a motion that that we erect uh, signs at either end of the bid, uh, bridge that clearly state that the jumping is prohibited and dangerous. And I'm not suggesting that that we we up enforcement to to deal with it because I think. Um, 
you know, you, you're more likely to, to have an incident in, in, in other scenarios, as you've suggested. But I do think it's our responsibility at this point um, to state that, that it's a dangerous activity and it is prohibited, and, and erecting signs at either end of the bridge would, would accomplish that. Can I ask, this, the signs that would be erected would not be ours, they would be Department of Highways. That is would correct. Those. <coughs> and they would have to approve that, but I think we can help them with the wording uh, or suggest wording uh, that they would, you know, do that. And I'm looking at number five as well, um, which says that bring more, more awareness to this unsafe activity. I kind of feel that having it brought up at council and the discussion today and um, having things in the paper um, have and in on news has probably brought awareness to the issue and that has I think sort of uh, addressed that number five yeah I think realistically yeah. uh, number five with being a tourist destination yeah you'd have to put it in the paper every week for it to have any kind of impact. no but if so, the signs are up then yeah, that makes that, a difference yeah. too yeah so there was a motion mm. the, the motion your motion was to to uh, contact uh, highways and look to erect signs at either end of the bridge stating that jumping is prohibited and uh, I'm wondering if we should write a letter to highways and state that this has been <coughs> brought up at, at council and that we are certainly in agreement with them updating new signs. Would, is that kind of what you had in mind, writing a letter and I think that's saying that it, do it yeah. um, I have to tell you that when I was at the regional district the other day, the, um, uh, they had heard, because CBC phoned me and wanted to, or somebody <laughs> did, and they started singing Bridge Over Troubled Waters, <laughs> the members of the RDOS. So. <laughs> uh, this, this hasn't reached CNN levels yet? I'm not sure. I don't <coughs> think so. <coughs> yes. <I'll> second that. <laughs> so um, I'd just like to speak to it. Yeah, sure. Go ahead. Um, I think that uh, number five should be taken into consideration more seriously because I believe that any amount of media attention that we can get to the fact that we're dealing with it since we have all personally had so many complaints over the years. I think if we made it more um, obvious that we were addressing the issue and that it's been addressed in a manner that the, me that the public can research. Because public believe that we are supposed to be Looking ticketing up. Yeah. everybody that jumps off the bridge. Yeah. And I don't think they understand. And I think if there was just a little bit more um, guidance as far as what the regulations are that would make some sense if, to the local residents. Sure. If we were to write a letter uh, to Ministry of Transportation and um, state the things that we would like seen, could that be publicized? Could that be so that the, the public would know that we are dealing with it? How could we deal with that? Well, I, I think that I, I think the cheapest way to do it would be just to, <coughs> excuse me, <coughs> in the summer period we could probably put out a couple e-newses mm -hmm. to uh, uh, inform the, our local people that the responsibility for bridge management and, and is actually with uh, the RCMP and the Ministry of Transport. Uh, I think uh, the signage idea is a good idea, uh, again, expanding upon the dangers, but also uh, uh, most of our signage uh, has a, a bylaw that shows it's a law. And I don't know that the current signage had that, and I think it should be on the sign offense under the uh, uh, yeah. offense under the <coughs> offense act or you know something that effect that shows this is this is the law. And you're breaking the law. This is not about just uh, going and, and being involved in a dangerous activity, uh, finding a place to jump off. It's against the law. So could we suggest that the Department we of Highways add that? that? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, because it has to be their sign, doesn't That's it? That's right. Yeah. yeah. I oh. agree with that. Okay, so we've had it moved and seconded. Would you read back the um, resolution, please? <coughs> That council directs staff to contact the Ministry of Transportation and Infrastructure to request that signage be erected on either side of the bridge, um, that sta stating that jumping is prohibited. Is that okay? Okay. Probably uh, jumping is prohibited, uh, comma, a dangerous act, and, uh, and an offense bottom. under the... Uh, I don't know. Uh, well, no, under the... Actually, it's, it's the, tre the trespass. It's a trespass uh, oh. act offense. 
And the RCMP <coughs> has. It's has, not ours. That's no. it's, the yeah. RCMP has always had the option to uh, issue a ticket if they. Under you the, know, yes, yeah. under under so, the under so the they, they still have that. I'm comfortable with, the, with that addition. Okay, so <coughs> all in favor? Thank you very much. Um, I do not think there's any other uh, things on the agenda. So could we have a move to uh, move uh, uh, during the meeting? Thank you, Councillor Campbell, Councillor Rhodes. All in favor? Thank you, everyone.